million on promotion. But experts say they are getting twice that amount in free publicity from tie-in promotions from companies like McDonald's and Pepsi. Well, no matter how well you like this new Batman movie, brace yourself for an onslaught of Bat merchandise. All the major retailers and some restaurants and cola makers are already licensed to sell the Bat stuff. And one of the companies that will cash in big is Morris Costumes, based right here in Charlotte. But it's exactly as used in the film. This is how Morris Costumes cashes in big on the blockbusters of Hollywood. When movies like E.T., Predator, and Mutant Ninja Turtles hit the silver screen, Philip Morris makes sure he has the licensing rights to manufacture and sell the costumes. On the first Batman movie alone, the national costume chain grossed $10 million in costume sales and rentals. And I think, again, that it will reach these figures and maybe even surpass those figures in the past. But the bat paraphernalia goes far, far beyond costumes. It will soon be everywhere we look. We are just beginning to see the tip of the marketing iceberg. Arrangements had already been made with every major manufacturer across the country of, uh, of uh, different items, including toys and, and the major retailers from Kmart to Walmart to Sears uh, for, to sell Batman items. He was um, born by people. He was thrown in the sewers. Even though the little folks may understand the evil subtleties of Gotham City villains like the Penguin, all the marketing talk sails by them like a batarang. This will probably be the hot item, though, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Well, I have it. I suffocating. <laughs> By the way, if you're a grown-up, but the kid and you would like to go on a caped crusade, you can have your very own authentic Batman costume for a mere $385. Holy megabucks. <laughs>